Hi, everyone. It's great to see you out tonight. Oh, it's been like two seconds, Ernie. John Bradley can't keep his eyes off a girl. <laughs> but I mean, I get it. She's really pretty, isn't she? She's got long hair, long legs, nice skin, and pretty much everything else you could ask for. And I know some of you are probably thinking, why can't I have those legs? Don't worry, I'm pretty damn jealous too. My name's Leanne Chadell, I'm 16 years old. I go to the International School of Bangkok. I play sports all year round, volleyball, basketball, softball. I have a great group of friends. And I'm smart, but I don't think I'm beautiful. Do you think you're beautiful? Are you satisfied with your hair, your legs, your butt, your stomach, and your face? About 80% of the people in this room, boys and girls, just said no. You, for instance, maybe you want longer and straighter hair. Maybe, Daddy, maybe you want your high school body back. <laughs> and you for, uh, no, Amelie, you're like a Victoria's Secret model or something. <laughs> According to CNN, one in three women would sacrifice a full year of their life for their ideal body type. That means not you, not you, but you would sacrifice a full year for a set of Miranda Kerr legs. To be honest, I would probably sacrifice a year too. For a flatter stomach, that seems like a pretty good bargain. But why? Why do we have this ideal body type that we all strive to obtain? Two words, mass media. We live in a world that sends us all sorts of messages from mass media, whether it's a new Lady Gaga video or the new ad for Gucci perfume. We face, this, we face these images every day. We're constantly processing messages from mass media, indicating what society views as beautiful. And what do we see? An unattainable fantasy. Television, film, and the print media have displayed a world that deceives the reflection of society. Advertising provides an unrealistic and detrimental epitome of women nowadays. A clear image has been painted on the canvas. Stick thin is beautiful. And the sad part is we believe it. We see these deceitful mirages and we think, why can't I have those arms? We see the illusion and yet we don't see the trick. And it's simple, really, Photoshop. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, duh, of course mass media uses Photoshop. But do you really know to what extent? I used to think that they maybe airbrushed an occasional pimple or took off some eye bags from a model's rough night. But in reality, it's a tad bit more extreme. In a Dove campaign, we can see the drastic changes that occur to a regular face to create the delusion we see every day. The girl before the shoot, we see her everywhere. This is that girl. We see her at the supermarket. We see her at school. She is our everyday Sally Smith, no more different than you or me. And yet not one of us would pass her by in the hallway and go, well, you know what? She would make one hell of a model. And yet she is. Because Photoshop helps her, it masks her. This is that girl after the shoot. No wonder our perception of beauty is distorted. No wonder we see this and we think, I'm not skinny enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not good enough. Because the media lies. And the thing is, we're impacted by these influences from such a young age that we aren't even aware of what's happening to our perceptions. But before we go on, I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine. I think you've all met her before, but if you haven't, don't worry, she's really nice. Her name is Barbie. Actually, I had a wide range of Barbies when I was growing up, and like my friend Jaina, we would go over and we would play with them all day, just like changing their shoes and stuff. And I'm pretty sure that most of the girls in here had Barbies or some other sort of dolls. And maybe you boys had Ken, G.I. Joe, Power Rangers, all of whom, may I point out, were tall and had a set of rock-hard abs. So, from such a young age, we have these influences upon us, these perfect lives that they lead. They get everything and anything that they want. And as children, our versions of reality are so fragile that we think it's because of their appearance. And why wouldn't we? All dolls are purposely created to be beautiful. Because who would buy an ugly doll? 
The truth is, even Barbie lies. Oh, did I say I play softball? <laughs> yeah. Um, even Barbie lies. Her proportions are actually a freak of nature. These are her proportions drawn on an average US woman. Look at her waist, it's like tiny. Her neck, it's a toothpick. Her chin is basically non-existent. Her eyes are massive and her boobs are so high up she could probably eat off them. And if Barbie were life-size, she would be maybe, what, like seven feet tall? How is that beautiful? We have the longing to reach this insanely impossible body image that we think most of the world acquires. The ugly truth is that less than 5% of the world has the perfect body. It's just that we see that 5% plastered all over billboards and starring in movies every day. So we desperately need to try and ignore the tricks and just see it as it is. And I'm not saying that we can completely ignore the pressure society pushes on us or the ones we push on ourselves. All I'm saying is that we need to try and disregard the impossible expectations and just accept ourselves for who we are. Because, ladies and gentlemen, life in plastic really isn't fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.